different styles first. Okay? Then I'll, I'll explain to you 10 different styles, 어떤 10 different styles 나오는지 보자. 첫 번째, here we go. Okay, the first one I talk about is insertion. Okay? Now, if you take a look, insertion is the one with the little black dots and you have to insert it into the question, right? They give you a sentence, right? Like, thus, this is the. Um, they give you a simple sentence, you have to basically put it in to each one. Okay? You have to find out how to do it. Okay? Now, this one doesn't really require what? No taking. No taking. Okay? I'm going to go over that with you a little bit later. We're going to talk about the factual. Now, factual is fact. But there is a detail that is not going to be able to do it. But there is a detail that is not going to be able to do it. Factual is not going to be able to do it. Okay, and this is the type of question that comes according to paragraph 3. What is distinctive of the planets to in comparison to terrestrial planets? And they've been comparing and contrasting something. And basically, you have to find out the answer from the reading. Now, this one, you need to have no take. 이런 방법은 no take 꼭 해야 돼. 한두 가지 얘기하는 게 아니거든, 패러그래프 안에서. 근데 여기 sentence 뽑으려고 하면, guess what? 틀려요. Okay. Next one we talk about is called negative factual. Okay. Negative factual은 어떤 게안 써있었냐. 여기 안에서 어디 내용에서 뭐가 안, 안 써있냐 물어봐요. Okay. All of the following are mentioned in paragraphs 2, except, 그러면은, 빠진 거. Okay. 이 흐름은 많이 한국 학생들, 한국 학생들인가 외국 학생들 힘들어요. 왜냐면은, it's really difficult. Okay. They always forget except. 근데 이것도, guess what? You need your note taking. Okay. The other one is really important that you guys all have trouble with. 진짜 학생 대부분 다 힘들어요. 이거 틀리는 거. It's called inference questions. Okay. Now, inference questions. No one will have something hard to do. The reason is that this paragraph is suggested but not written. The meaning is not written, but it's not written. It's not written. It's not written. It's not written. So, how do you do it? 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 This is really difficult, right? But I'm going to show you an easy way how to do this either, too. I'm going to bear with me a little bit, okay? 나중에 좀더 자세 하나 하나 자 들어가고 breakdown 시킬 거야. 그냥 오늘 지금 I'm going to go over each detail, right? The next one is paraphrasing. Okay, now you're like, what is paraphrasing? Paraphrasing 뭐냐? 만약 한국말을 한다 그러면은 데이비스는 사람이다. Paraphrasing 뭐야? 사람은 데이비스다. 똑같 비슷한 거. 갖다가 다시 rewording 해갖고 만드는 거예요. Okay. Paraphrasing은 TOEFL 같은 경우에는 네트도 마찬가지지만 진짜 많이 쓸 거예요. 왜냐면은 answer 자체가 절대로 써 있는 거 똑같이 안 생겼어. 절대로. Okay. 그러면은 이런 이런 패턴 나와. They they highlight a gray area, right? Like this, right? They highlight 여기다 다 gray 한 다음에 그 다음에 어디 물어봐. 어떤 게 똑같은 의미냐? 하나를 빼지도 않고 넣지도 않고 그 뜻이 뭐냐면 they're gonna ask you a highlighted area you they don't you can't take out information you can't add information all the information has to be the same but different wording right you're like yeah that's why I hate to right <laughs> but it's difficult I know okay. the other type we're gonna go into is called a reference okay now you got like what is reference yeah okay? This is the one that you can probably do without any notation. Okay? What does it refer to? What does this refer to? Okay? 뜻이 뭐냐면은 이거는 이거는 거의 한국 문법이잖아. 뭐 영어 문법. It's grammar. Right? So 이런 거는 애들이 대부분 맞을 수가 있어요. 영어 실력 잘안 된다 그래도 이건 대부분 맞을 수 있어요. 이거는 어떻게 보면 리딩의 당신들의 거의 기본 문법이 어떻게 됐는가 확인하는 방법인데 이거는 이렇게 우리가 시간 많이 안 보낼 거예요. Next one, okay, is is also called brackets, okay, and this is a little different. Cause I'm gonna pronoun where you use like uh it, right, she, her, right, them, these, right. That if you're gonna they give you a word, 
right? Striking, okay? okay? And they're gonna ask you, it's very similar, but this is more like vocab, okay? They're gonna ask you basically what this means, okay? This is the one that you guys hate because most of your schools or hagwans, right, or your academies, right, will tell you what? Memorize 150 words in one night, all right? This is the thing you hate. This is the vocab style of the IBT tool. Okay? Now, the ones that you guys probably all dread and hate, is the last question. It's the 13th question. It's called summarization. It looks like this. Yeah. Got it. Sucks, doesn't it? Right? Remember, they give you one main idea of the whole thing you just read, and they ask you to pick out three things. As you can see, it's worth two points. The next we can talk about is categorization. Okay, and the categorization is really cool. Okay, and the reason why is because you just read two categories of something. In this example, it's called terrestrial planets and Jovian planets. Alright? So basically you're gonna find out which one is belongs to which one. You guys probably did this in kindergarten, like putting the little little lines, right? It's a little different, okay? The problem is on the left hand side, if you see all the answer choices, answer reading It's paraphrased. Now, we went through all different 10 different styles of questioning. Question So the new TOEFL, which is the IBT and the NIT, right? right, is normally done in this type of order, chronological order, right? We call them time order. 시간, 이거 한, 이거 그 다음에, 이거 다음에, 이거 다음에. 날짜 언제? 1995년도, 1720년도. 뭐 순서대로 얘기하는 거. 그 chronological order. Second one, listing in events. 어, 어떤 사건에서 무슨 무슨 이벤트 나온다. Third one, comparing. You go, you go, figure out. Okay, giving example. Oh, you gonna even show how you put that. Okay, giving example. Okay. Now, this is really, really important, right? Okay. So, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna continue later on. Okay. Thank you very much.